All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basim Yahusha, Basim Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just said, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, um, just want to go into the, t the title or the title of this video is going to be about the word God. Okay, um, a lot of people ignorantly say God, you know, and they don't know what the heck they're talking about. Okay, now. God right here in the book of uh, Genesis 1 and 26, okay, it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, okay? This God right here in the uh, Hebrew is Allah Hayim, okay? When you put the yum at the end of a word, it means uh, plural. It's plural. Okay, like, okay. The definition of plural, okay, a word or form denoting more than one, okay, and, or in other languages with doing more than two, okay. So the word God, okay is really plural okay when you when you go into the the word in this scripture okay and the word God it means Allah it's Allah Hayam in the Hebrew which is uh, powers okay which means rulers judges divine ones angels God Okay, now I'm going to continue on, okay, it says, and God said, let us make man in our, our image, okay, once again, let us, that's plural, okay, more than one, make man in our image, Okay, plural, that's more than one. After our likeness, plural, that's more than one. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Okay? So, um, I'm going to go from there, okay? Because, like I said, the word God is plural. Now, when you go into the scriptures, okay, where it says, the Lord God, okay, Genesis 5, 2 and 5, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God, had caused not, I mean, had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. Uh, jumping up a verse, there are these are the generations of heaven and of the earth when they were created, and the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Okay, and when you go into this word, Lord God, it's talking about the Most High Yahweh. Okay, right here, you see the word uh, or name. Yahawa, okay, which in the English is ignorantly pronounced Je Jehovah, okay, which you know they also say the existing one, okay, it says the proper name of the one true God, okay, the most high, okay, so the most high God, okay. Which if you're going to say God, you know, you got to know who you're, you're talking to. Because the Most High God, okay, he has a name. Okay, and his name is Yahweh. Okay. Now, when you go into 
John 3 and um, 16 okay it says for God so loved the world right right here this is talking about the Most High God okay it says um God which is Theos okay even though this is going off talking about the Trinity it says God the Father the first person in the Trinity was that's a that's a lie okay with God the Father is talking about Yahweh okay spoken of the only and true God referred to the things of God okay whatever whatever can in any respect be likened unto God or resemble him in any way okay well it's talking about Yahweh okay right here okay it should say the Lord God or Yahweh okay love the world which that's not talking about the whole entire world okay that's talking about the Israelites okay it says that he gave his only begotten son okay a lot of people don't understand what that only begotten son uh, stands for okay which means single of its kind only okay which Yahweh Shah, the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus is the first spirit that the Most High God created okay this is John 1 and 1 and the beginning was the word okay and another word or name for word that's that's the title for Yahweh Shah okay wanted to check and see oh here go the the definition for word okay and the Greek is logos I believe G 3056 Lagos Lagos is Lagos okay which when you go down it says and John denotes the essential word of God right here it says Jesus Christ which is Yahweh Shah the personal wisdom and power and union with God his minister and creation and government of the universe the cause of all the world's life both physical and ethical which for the procurement of man's salvation put on human nature and the person of Yahweh Shah the Messiah the second person and the Godhead and so forth conspicuously from his words and deeds okay so basically the Yahweh Shah is the word okay that's the title now it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God okay when you break it down it just says it's a say and the beginning was Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah was with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah was power okay because this the Greek if you read it in the Greek you're gonna you're gonna go off okay it says the same was in the beginning with God okay or well, Yahweh Shah was in the beginning with Yahweh all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made okay so all things was made by Yahweh Shah and without him was not anything made that was made okay now Yahweh okay gave the blueprint onto Yahweh Shah okay and Yahweh Shah and the angels okay they created everything so if you're gonna if you're gonna say okay God you need to know who you're talking about okay so I'm gonna get this scripture okay 
do Psalms 82 and 6, not 83. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Okay? Because when you go into it, the men of the Lord that are here on this earth today, those are the Israelites are the, are the children of God, okay? And um, those those uh, people, or, or I should say, God back then that created everything, okay? It was more than just one one person. Once again, okay, and those uh, spirits that was back then, they came down, okay, into the, the, the fleshly bodies, okay. So, I wanted to get this. This is uh, Jude 1 and uh, 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, which the first estate, okay, was back in Genesis 1 and 26, okay, when they created everything, okay, was that's what, that was the elect, okay, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, okay, up there in the heavens, Okay, from the beginning, okay, he has reserved an everlasting chains under darkness, okay, which does these bodies onto the judgment of the great day, okay, and that great day is when Yahweh Shah returns, okay, and he delivers the children of uh, Israel okay through the elect okay the ones who created everything from the very beginning okay so that's just uh, you know through the spirit you know I just was you know looking at something about the beginning you know and I just wanted to go in on the topic of the word God okay and just prove or show okay how the order of things and um, the, the um, heaven leave realm is and how it is on this earth okay so when you say god you should know who you're talking about okay so with that i want to say shalom